Hello everyone, it's Tony, and the holiday season is here. So I wanted to start by showing you this gorgeous mantle. It's blue and green and has a peacock theme. And I'll be using this as inspiration for decorating for Christmas in my home this year. The ornaments are just beautiful. And since I couldn't find these ornaments, and the ones I did find were pretty expensive, I want to show you how I created a few different inexpensive ornaments while giving them all the same blue and green peacock theme. To save money on my ornaments, of course I stopped at Dollar Tree first and look at this. I was lucky enough to find these butterfly clips. These were decorated with peacock feathers on the wings and I picked up as many blue and green as I could find. At Dollar Tree, I also picked up a few clear bulb ornaments, holiday floral pieces, and gold, blue, and green ribbon. Dollar Tree also had green and blue Christmas ornaments, but I found this big set of 26 ornaments for $5 each at Walmart. In my inspiration photo, there were quite a few transparent green and blue bulbs. So I'm going to start by spray painting my clear ornaments with this Krylon stained glass spray paint. So this you want to just follow the directions on the can and spray nice even coats all the way around. And I am spraying half of the ornaments a soft blue and half a summer green. After the ornaments are dry, I'm going to use the golden floral pieces to fill up the inside of the bulbs. I cut a couple of pieces and I push them in upside down and I'm hot gluing the stems to the inside lip of the ornament. Then I'm just going to cut off the excess stem. Next I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon long enough to wrap around the ornament up to the lip. I'm going to hot glue the center of it at the very bottom of the ornament and also hot glue the ribbon at the lip on both sides. Now I'm going to cut another piece and crisscross it on the bottom piece and glue it the exact same way. Now I'm going to put the top back on and also add a bow to the top. I'm cutting a longer piece of ribbon and I'm going to center it around the top of the ornament and I'm going to wrap it around the top edge and hot glue it onto the edge of the silver cap. Now instead of tying a bow, I'm just going to use the hot glue to fold the pieces over to create a, something that looks like a bow. Very nice, looks like a beautifully wrapped snow globe. I use the same procedure for the green ornaments, but I use the sheer green ribbon that I already had. For my next ornament, I'm gonna simply take the Dollar Tree butterfly and hot glue it to my blue bulb. First, I'm just gonna sort of bend the sheer wings around the ornament and then I'm going to gently pull this clip out of the butterfly. Just be really careful not to break it. So I'm just going to open it up and wiggle it out. Then I'm going to put hot glue down the body of the butterfly and press and hold that to the center of the ornament. And you want to Hold that in place for at least 30 seconds. While I'm holding that in place, I'm going to bend the wings downward so that they're touching the bulb so that I can glue the tips of the wings. Now I'm going to hot glue to just the tip of the wing. Leave a little space on the tip of the wing so that you can press down on the um, piece and not touch the hot glue. You don't want to burn your fingers. So now I have a simple but very beautiful peacock butterfly ornament. 
To make my next ornaments, I'm using a little bit of my metallic paint. I'm going to be painting an abstract peacock feather design on the plain green and blue ornaments. So I'm going to make this just very simple and rough. We're just going to paint a few circles and curves, so it should be pretty quick and not too difficult. So I'm going to start by painting a medium sized circle on green. I'm going to paint blue and on the blue bulbs, I'm going to paint green. And I'm putting a circle right in the middle on both sides. Oh, and I also rolled a little piece of scotch tape at the bottom of the bulb so that I can stick it to the surface while it's drying. I'm going to paint all of these at one time and I don't want them rolling around the table so the tape will keep them in place. So next I'll use the bronze paint and I'm going to paint a sort of like an eye shape around the circle. I'm going to start at the bottom of the circle and go up around and make a little teardrop shape and fill that in up to the circle. And next I'll paint curved lines coming from the bottom of the shape that look like little arms. So I'm going to do space these out and do um, two sets of these so it looks like a little sort of like a spider and these strokes are a part of what's making up the strands of the peacock feather and in between the bronze strokes i'm going back to paint blue and green strokes also and the strokes don't have to be perfect this is abstract art so it could be pretty simple now to really make this look like a peacock feather, I'm going to add a black circle in the center of the center circle, right at the bottom. Something like that. I left a little bit of an opening at the bottom. And to make that center shape stand out, I'm going to paint black curves around the sides of the bronze color. And finally, I'm going to add my last color, gold. I'm just going to brush gold strokes in between each color and around each section. It should just help tie the feather all together and give it a little dimension. And with the gold paint, you can paint a line right down the center below the eye to make it really look more like a feather. At Dollar Tree, I also found these gemstone stickers, so I thought I'd add a little sparkle to these peacock painted ornaments. I'm going to stick one diamond at the bottom of the black circle on both sides, and I'm going to make a crown of diamonds around the top. These are stickers, but you may want to use the hot glue to keep them in place. Now I have all my ornaments ready for my blue and green peacock theme. In my next video, I will be decorating my mantle. Now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint in eight shimmering colors, available now at Amazon.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your Hustle Home and Your Hustle Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.